A lot of people feel like uh, the college football model as it relates to student athletes has been broken for quite some time. And you're the one actually doing something about it. So I read a little bit about it. I know you're all over this. Um, I'm pretty familiar with name, image, and likeness, but I want you to actually explain the bill that you are trying to get passed. What does it really say? So it does a handful of things. Our, our goal is to extend the economic right, which I think is a, a natural right. Every single person in this country has it, except for the college athlete, as far as I know. Maybe some people don't, but as far as I know, it's just college athletes excluded. So we're going to extend that right, but we're going to do it in a way that preserves college sports. So what does that mean? That means having restrictions on recruitment. So I don't think you know you should have boosters in high schools telling kids they're going to pay them a whole bunch of money to come to XYZ school. So there'll be penalties that prevent that from happening. Um, but uh, but also on, on the same side of that, we're going to have some parity in there to make sure that the kids are uh, getting the same opportunities that some of the universities do um, and just preserve the system as we know it. And I think it'll work for everybody. I think it'll work for college football, but I think it'll work for my wife as a college swimmer. I think it, it would help her. She'd be able to teach swim lessons now. So um, just the, the basic premise is let's do one national standard, not 50 states. Uh, with different standards, which is what, what we have right now. Um, but let's have one national standard. Let's preserve recruitment. Let's preserve the system. It's a great system uh, and move forward.